Much more guile. Yay. The tigers. They're gonna be I like that character, bro. I, I like Guile yeah. in this game, bro. Guile is, <laughs> Guile is, uh, he is, he is something, bro. And just the way, like, a, he puts all of his strings together and just, like, I, I don't know, bro. It's just, like, Guile just looks cool, like. I don't know. It is what it is. One thing I do wish we would get from Capcom, though, more costumes. <laughs> oh, bro. oh, don't worry. Hey, don't worry. I, I, I bet you they come. Don't worry. Projectiles here with the flash cam. All right. Here we go. Brian, do you hold him steady? Has to be coming from me, chat. I don't know why though. The new new thing. I apologize. I blame Banjo. What for the fifteen dollar costumes? Oh no, my bad. Oh, you talking no, about for, no, no, for, for you talking about for your walk for the echo? Yeah. yeah, you can probably blame me. That's fine. Oh, you want to blame me? It's all good. Trying to get the shimmy here. Not going to be able to execute. Uh, the zap is able to get him in burnout. Brian D, in, in a very very bad way because Chip is available for Zafarino. Not going to need it though. That pajama jury costume is going to be thirty five dollars, <laughs> and it's going to sell out. Oh yeah, guaranteed. All right, right into the level three. I actually love this. Oh, yeah, spent a whole bunch of drive getting in there. Gonna get pretty much all of it back. And when you're even drive gauge here, it's again, really solid. But I said it earlier, Kyle's probably one of the best characters when in burnout. Like there's just no reason to be afraid. Yeah, you got uh, the ultimate defense on tap here. But uh, that ultimate defense is apparently nowhere to be seen or haven't been seen so far because Zafarino is playing H O T hot at the moment. Oh, really risky slide to get in there. Again, drive reversal coming in so big tonight. Tonight will probably be in a YouTube video from somebody being like, this is why drive reversal is so good. I've no, definitely been utilizing the correct way. Zafarino, not afraid to let this go down to the wire. If this has to be a war of attrition, let it be so. Like, I definitely have a look. My man from hitting three. half court, bruh. Hey. Mark is smart from the three point line, bro. Oh, that was the limb there. That's the limb that we keep seeing like really clip into characters. Very odd. Punish counter on the slide. This is this is a fine spot. Brian does need to get a little bit more aggressive, I think. But it's tough to see exactly how they can do so. I call him slipping over here with the Oh, but enlightenment. But a throw off the TP. Even, even, even. And Zaf getting hit with the OD flash kick. Bypassing the uh, OD fireball from Zafarino side as well. Brian D. Trying to combat, uh, combat right here. More pushing into the corner right here. Zaf has just had no qualms about using here right here. Just waiting for openings just like this so he can get level three. Get some of this drive meter back. And so much of Brian D's meter is going to be gone off this. Big discrepancy, and it continues to grow bigger as we head into the next round. Brian has looked so solid. Okay, that was that was kind of slick. It worked out for Brian there in so many ways. It could have gone not well. Oh my! Here we go. Like like the jab, jab, flash, uh, flash kick into the corner. And hey, you got to be wary. 
Ryan D has been real privy by using a DI in the corner, but Zaf, not gonna fall for it right here. Just going to try to expend the range of the poke, but these conversions into level three. So good from Brian D. Still gonna have to close it out though. Just a little bit of life left. Life leads, again, pretty near insurmountable. Oh, goes for the air to air, and Brian D says we will take that trade nine times out of ten. Here we go, going into game three. One one between these three. Trying to get in there, the parry doing a solid job of earning through. Brian's bar right now, but the sweep's gonna give him a little bit of time to recover. Here we go, throwing more booms. And it's not that Zaf like Zaf is just nah, excuse me. Brian D has just been really uh, been really has done really, really well in these like uh clutch exchanges, like holding in this defense for long enough just so he can get one of these big, big conversions and goes for the perfect parry instead. Gonna get K damage, but the positioning is really what matters here. I mean, even, even for a perfect parry, I'd say that was pretty solid damage. But it gave you the positioning, There's nowhere for Zephyr to escape to. And as soon as that fireball looks like it's coming out, we're jumping in there, we're putting him on a pixel. The overhead was early though. Yeah, just delaying the wake up just a little bit because he knew and gets a DI for free. Brian D isn't burned out, but still. When in doubt, flash kick out. All you gotta do is hold down back that entire time and burn out. Zafarino couldn't go for the traditional approaches they were trying up until then. They can't do float teleport normal or float teleport fireball because it's just gonna get clipped by the flash kick. Because Brian holds it for that extra second, he doesn't have to worry about the left side. He's not gonna have to worry about it here either. Gets a level three into the corner. Is he's giving Zap his space just because he wants to make sure that you know he can snipe out the teleport if that happens. But Brian D up two one, almost there, trying to visit Zach Boz for the run back. Yeah, we talked about how Zafarino was doing so successful when they were slowing the game down to an absolute crawl and just being able to force their opponents into awkward situations. Ryan's doing just the same thing. He's slowing it down, making Zafarino move around the map too much. He's getting clipped for it. This round looking a little bit worse for wear, but overall, he's been slowing it down. Zaffarino able to get the DI right there with the wall splat. I'm trying to keep it competitive right here. There we go. Brian D. I'm trying to set up for the tick throw, not gonna be found here. Gonna get hit with the booms. Do you have the range for that? Yes, you do. I'm trying to go for the upside down kicking in the corner. Not gonna find you here. Zaffarino throwing the fireball to try to create some space. And is gonna go for it again. Based a perfectly timed slide to get out of the corner, followed up by a little bit of offense. That's. I don't know if I like that. That was a little grimy. I think it might have blocked too, but either way, Zafarino back to mid screen. No punish counter though. That's tough. Yeah. Oh, okay. Lucky for him, but will get the wall splat right there, and Zafarino is going to bring this to a 2 2 in losers finals. Guys are going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and we got to set on them, baby. Oh, down to this Zafarino drawn first blood there with that OD fireball. Not ready for the approach though. That's not it. This is what we've been talking about all night, chat. When you block that reversal, you get so much punish time. Here we go, and oh my god, over the top of your head two times. The teleport to put him back into the corner, and Zaf will get the throw right here. Brian D 
The defense has been stellar, but getting hit by the wake-up flamethrower and another flamethrower to put them into burnout. And now, he didn't. Oh! oh my god. He gets another jump in. Yo, Brian D! Perfect carry again from Zagarino. Pushing all the way to the corner. He's gonna spend a level one. Eats up just a bit of that drive gauge, but pushing him ever closer to the corner. Oh, that OD fireball is playing such a wild card in this element too. Like literally keeping him on his toes. Um keeping him on his toes on wake up so that way, like if he tries to back dash, he takes even at least a little bit of damage for that. And Zaf is, is trying to just slow down the pace of the game. And is willing to just sit there and let Brian D spend his resources to try to get in. Brian, though, doing a really good job varying the speed of his booms. We've seen a couple times now as Zap trying to you know, get a read on a slow one. Oh, this is bad! Just a level one, though. All right, slow and steady wins the race right here. Zafarino. Okay. Perfect parry. Zaf wow. has to take his round, though. Anything else would send them home for the night. 40 seconds left on the clock. Zap just trying to lame him out. It's a zoner duel, so he can get a little bit more leeway with it, but again, just sliding into that Sonic Blade. And you have a long, long way to go if you're if you're Brian D. With only 25 seconds left. It's getting tougher by the second. And Sonic Blade into the boom, eating up so many fireballs from Zap Reynolds. All right, finally getting uh, on the opposite side from Zafarino. With the teleport kick, and now a final round situation to see who gets back in the grand finals on the loser side. All right, trading that crouching fierce with the booms. Using the Sonic Blade boom combo to walk over the empty hop for the jumping fierce. What a damaging combo. That's that mid screen, a slide slips through, but with the reversal, it's all back to even. Oh, look at this. Zafarina just sending out so much fire, teleporting in with the empty throw. And now we're in a kind of similar spot to where we were last round. It's just that. This time, there's so much less life for Zafarino to have in his back pocket. Any solid confirm here from Brian could close this out. And with the life being so incredibly close, neither of them can spend an ounce of OD. And it's actually wow. Zafarino risking it all to potentially be sent home. And that's the level two. That could be it. Chip is hugely a factor here. Yeah, you've got to be really, really careful about how you do this. He does have tools to get away from the teleport. There's the light kick. Go. The Iron. No reversal here can be found. Throwing the a couple moves at a time. The snipe. Zaf. Zafarino deserves the win off of that defensive sequence alone. The oh, win with the flash kick. Zafarino so Yo. smart. Zafarino staying solid. Snatching victory kick. from the Zaffirino jaws of so defeat. Smart. I want to watch that on the big screen. Here we go. Oh chat. my god. So this is this is actually after the whole oh man that was so much later than I wanted because that was after the whole defensive sequence from Zafarino where the they screen. played it go, so smart they yeah. just ate up whole, so much of that man, clock that they so basically went wanted. that entire drive recovery fending off a level so two super smart. guile. He just 